Recently, I showed off an application called Twin, a text-based graphical environment. It emulates the experience of a graphical environment only using text-based elements. And also, it uses a color palette that makes it suitable for running from a TTY. Now, when I tested it, I was running it in a GUI environment. This makes it a lot easier to capture using OBS. And also, I know my graphical environment has mouse drivers available. But what I wasn't aware of is there is a way to use your mouse from the TTY. This was made explicitly clear to me when I mentioned there wasn't a way to do it. Don't believe me? Well, have a look at this. I am using my mouse. I can select text in here. It's a little bit funky because I'm in a virtual machine. It works much better on hardware, but I can use my mouse in this TTY environment. This is done with a system called GPM, the General Purpose Mouse. Now, many terminal applications out there do not work with a mouse. So adding a mouse in there isn't really going to change stuff. It's not like the things that are in the application are suddenly clickable. There is still going to be a reason for it though. But to my surprise, a lot more applications than you might expect actually do work with it. So Emacs, Midnight Commander, and Twin, alongside applications built with N cursors, are going to have support for GPM. Now, different applications might use it to different extents, but when you have N cursors supported, that includes a lot of applications. Also, if you're looking for something similar over on the free BSD side, have a look at Mouse. Now, I can't speak for every single distro out there, but I know for a fact that Arch Linux, Debian, Fedora, Slackware, and Gentoo, which is going to cover most of the bases out there, do have a package available for GPM. Some of those distros already have it set up to work out of the box. But in my case, I'm using Arch Linux. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the package actually installed. So, I didn't realize this, but I already had it installed before this video. The package is called GPM. It's probably going to be called GPM on every other distro out there as well. There are random terminal applications out there, probably from Twin, could have been something else, that have GPM as a dependency. So it's entirely possible that it's already available on your system. In which case, one less step you need to do. Also, very nicely, Arch Linux includes a systemd job. So systemctl start gpm and then put your password in and you're pretty much good to go now in this case i'm running a gui but over in the virtual machine here that is all i did to start it up one very important thing to note about virtual machines if you are not running it in full screen and you have multiple monitors it will very quickly desync your host mouse and the mouse inside the virtual machine. So as you can see, I can't even get to the edge of the screen here. It just comes off of the virtual machine. This is not a problem that exists if you're running it on hardware. On hardware, it works exactly as you might expect, but just keep that in mind. But what if your system doesn't use systemd or your distro for whatever reason doesn't ship those systemd service files? How in the world do we start it? Well, let's have a look at the systemd file. This is literally all it is running gpm dash m slash dev slash input slash mice dash t i m p s 2 so if we run this over here it's going to say we need to be root if we try that again this time using sudo now it is going to run now this command is only going to work with usb mice if you instead have a ps2 mouse you need to change this slightly now dash M, this indicates the mouse file to open. So all of your regular USB mice can be found at slash dev slash input slash mice. If you instead have a PS2 mouse, you need to change this over to slash dev slash PSAUX. And then dash T indicates the type of mouse. If you run that, then that is going to work for PS2 mice, but I don't have one to test. But maybe you have an IBM track point. In that case, we need to make another slight change, changing this back to slash dev slash input slash mice, but leaving the dash T on PS2. And that should cover most of the cases out there. But if you're using something different, you're pretty much on your own. There's not that much great documentation how to use GPM with various devices. What you can do is change the type over to help 
and that will list out all of the types that are available, what ones you're going to need to run for your specific device is going to require a lot of messing around and pretty much experimentation. Hopefully for your device you can find some information about it, but I can't really direct you anywhere. And your third configuration option is making a file at slash etsy slash conf.d and then inside of here a file called gpm. If you want to know how to set that up, go check out the Gen2 wiki. It has a lot of great information on this. I personally just run the command as I need to run it. And since I'm only using a USB mouse, I can just start up the systemd job and don't have to configure anything. Whilst I said this works exactly like it should on hardware, don't take that to mean it works exactly like a mouse would feel in a regular graphical environment. In a regular GUI, we can make pixel precise movement. That is not something you can do in GPM. The TTY does not operate on pixels. So as you can see, my cursor is basically this box here, but I cannot make very precise movements. If I want to make a movement, it is going to be to the next place that a character could be located. If we go up here, it makes it a bit easier to understand. So if I want to move over to the R, I can't like half be on the R. I either have to be entirely on the R or entirely on the C. But that doesn't mean it's not useful. Besides applications like Twin, obviously, that have mouse support, that have buttons, where you can go and click around and control the application, there is still something else you can do. Copy and pasting text. Let's say, for example, I want to go and copy this line of text right here. Holding down, like we normally would in a GUI, my left mouse button, while it is still highlighted, if I press my middle mouse, now it is going to paste it. This isn't really that useful when we just have a single TTY. But if we're doing this on hardware and I can safely swap between the TTYs, this makes it really easy to copy some, maybe some error from an application that'll be pretty difficult to dump into a file and then actually dump it into a file so I can go and report a bug or something like that. Maybe an application like BTOP is playing up and for whatever reason, this line at the top here isn't rendering properly. In a lot of cases, yeah, you could take a screenshot, but maybe it only plays up inside of the TTY. And getting a screenshot in the TTY can be done, but most people just don't have the environment set up to do it, and your only other option is recording your screen. If you can just copy and paste the bit that's wrong, this makes it really easy to capture. Now, for this funky virtual machine case, there are some workarounds that do exist. Your best option is having a look at GPM-VM. And you might need to make some additional configuration. This is all listed over on the Arch Wiki. But as I said, if you're running it on hardware, there's nothing you need to do. It just works exactly as you'd expect, assuming you're using a USB, a PS2, or an IBM track point. Those are the only things that are documented here. Anything else? Good luck. I wish you the best of luck in your journeys. I would recommend buying a $5 USB mouse. It's probably going to be a lot easier than trying to work it out. Now, here's the fun thing about GPM. This is a really old project. As you can see, some of the files in here haven't changed in 18 years. This is a project from 1995. And while there have been some extra commits over the years, the latest one being in 2020, the latest tagged release is from 2012. <laughs> It hasn't had a new release in 11 years, but the TTY doesn't really change, so like, it doesn't matter. It still works exactly as well as it should from all those years ago. Also, I want to give credit where credit is due. He has long since moved on from the project, but the original developer is Alessandro Rubini. Since then, it was taken over by Nico. I'm not even going to try that, just here's the name on the screen. So yes, I didn't realize this and I was completely wrong. There is a way to use your mouse in the TTY. Most of the time, you're probably not going to want to do so, but the option is going to be there. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you know about GPM? Do you use GPM? Are you on one of those distros that has GPM just working and you never realized why that was a thing that existed? I would love to know. If you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one over, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, subscribe to the Verapay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and... Mouse.
Yeah.